Well, hey guys, who's excited? It's that time for the Fabfit Fun Box, the fall edition. <laughs> this came in the mail and I love opening this thing up for you with you guys. And you guys seem to enjoy watching me open, open it up as well. For those of you who are not familiar with Fabfit Fun, it is a quarterly subscription box. You get it once a season. So I like that because you know, I don't like to have a bunch of stuff coming to me like on a monthly basis. It takes me a while to start using something and incorporating it into my life. So I find that the that the um, seasonal subscription box kind of thing works for me. And every box that I get seems to get better and better. I think one of the first boxes I got, for example, had like this charcoal toothpaste and I was like, what am I gonna do with this? This seems like something nobody would want. And with each box, there have been fewer like lame things and more and more things that I actually consistently use. In fact, you know, you guys continue to comment, oh, I love that ring that I wear in a lot of my videos, King Fab Fit Fun Box, um, you know, and, a lot of the stuff that I get, I, I really, really, really enjoy using. And some of the stuff that I don't actually personally use, my mom ends up enjoying a lot like that. Love you a latte cup. But anyways, let's see what came inside the box. Um, I will list down below for you guys a, a link. Um, you can save a little bit off your subscription if you're interested in it, but I do highly recommend it. I genuinely, genuinely love it. This is not a sponsored video. I pay for the box myself and enjoy receiving it. Okay, and it always comes with a little like magazine kind of thing. And another thing that I like about it is that um, the FabFitFun like when you sign up for it, they send you emails episodically. I mean, you can opt out of that, but they send you fun emails with like recipes and just like little wellness tips and that sort of thing. And I just find that that's, that's kind of fun to read sometimes as a pleasant distraction. It's not, it's not like laden with a bunch of ads. It's actually helpful, useful information like yoga, all kinds of fun stuff. And Christina Applegate is on the cover. And within the little magazine, it typically gives you some, it's like a little magazine, it typically gives you some details about each of the products that you, or, and things that you receive. And the box itself, you can kind of customize a few weeks in advance if you are a, I think it's called a elite member, or, or I know what it is, you, you, if you commit to buying the boxes for a whole year, you actually get to customize a little bit of what you receive in the, in the boxes. Um, whereas if you just get one one box at PRN as needed, then you know you kind of you kind of get what they pick for you. But they they have really wonderful things. Okay, cool. So blah 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 aside, let's get into the box. Okay, here's the cute little little card to match. Have the fun, share the love. <laughs> um, alrighty, are you guys? enjoying hopefully some cooler ooh, some cooler weather it's not cool here in texas it's still it's still steamy it's very hot um, but you know i personally enjoy hot weather quite a bit okay what do we have here first up we have this looks like a shower gel by the italian collection oh i bet this is going to smell nice blue in capri shell gel shell shell gel shower gel with notes of alpine rose sage wild basil and autumn blossom oh this is going to be a nice little thing trout it is cruelty free wow that's wonderful and this does have methyl isothiazine alone in it for those of you who are allergic and as well as fragrance which they have labeled here very very clearly as fragrance slash parfum <laughs> um, and it has a 12 month shelf life. So there you have it. Deets on that. Look forward to trying that out. You know, I don't use soap on my body. I know everybody's always alarmed when I say that. I really don't. Um, I, you know, I just rinse off the sweat from my body and the dirt and oils come right off occasionally. Like for water resistant sunscreen, I just, before I get in the shower, I just coat the areas with a little bit of just mineral oil from the drugstore and then when I get in the shower I find that that is enough to to have sort of disrupted that mono monolayer that film of sunscreen 
and whisk it away. It does make the shower tub a little slippery though, so be careful if you're doing that. Uh, but I just, you know, harsh soaps, drying soaps, even dove soap, uh, dove soap in particular, they, ha they, they disrupt the skin mantle in inevitably. So I never use soap, particularly on my arms as I scratch here, and my legs, um, I, I don't use soap in those areas. Occasionally under my armpits, I will use soap or like a, a benzoyl peroxide containing soap to cut down on acne breakouts in my upper back, but don't use soap to the rest of my body. I know, but I will try this. I, I try it out, you know, from time to time because I like to smell nice too. I don't stink because I don't use soap, but I like the perfuminess of scented soaps. All right. Oh, this is kind of manly looking. This is Alfred. <laughs> he's got, he's got antlers or horns. Okay. This is a French press coffee maker. I had, I, this is something that I chose to, to have in the box. You could either get this or or a little teapot. And I have my brown Betty, so I didn't need a teapot. I love my Bialetti, and I don't really intend to start doing French press, but from time to time, I will have a coffee and I wanna try it as French press, particularly the Four Sigmatics um, ground coffee that I have. I'd love to try that as French press. It's been working well on my Bialetti. So I'm excited to have one. You know, the one that my mom has does not, does not hold the heat particularly well. So we don't, she doesn't use it herself. I use it from time to time when I'm over there, but that's that's really a shortcoming of them in my opinion. But I'm happy to have this one. We'll see, we'll say, see how the heat holds up on, on Alfred. <laughs> yeah, when I got my FabFitFun box, I picked it up in the package room the mail room at my apartment complex and the um, gentleman who works in the office was like what is this fabfit fun box i see this all the time like what is it and so i was explaining it to him and he's like do they have stuff for men in there and i'm like mm, it's kind of it's it is pretty largely female targeted um i would say i think if you're a guy even if you like um you know some more effeminate items i think that you will find that it is it's kind of lacking on, on choices for men, I find. Things that men would find useful, just in general. You know, some of the things are kind of girly. But maybe you like that. Um, that, that, you know, I think if I were a guy, I would like this, so. <laughs> All right, next up we have Cobra. Oh, this is cool. This I'm excited for. I think I actually chose this as well. These are Bluetooth uh, earbuds. Cobra. This will be helpful for like um, my iPad and my phone on the gym. In the gym, I listen to audiobooks and I sometimes listen to music when I run. I sometimes listen to YouTube videos when I run. So this will be nice because on the treadmill, I always put my phone down on the on the like little place where they have for, for you to put a book, that little ledge, you guys know what I'm talking about. I always put my phone there and then I have the I have the cord from the earbuds uh, that kind of loops back and it's fine, but it, it can kind of kind of whack you in the face. <laughs> so this will be cool to, to try out. Hopefully they work. Ew, we have some Glam Glow bubble sheet masks here. That'll be, that'll be interesting to try out. I know the Glam Glow mud mask is really popular. They have like a ton, ton of different masks. And they all have, um, they actually have some logical ingredients. They all obviously have fragrance in them, which, you know, I'm not a fan of. But the, the efficacy of them is not, is not surprising to me. They all, you know, often have, um, often have bentonite clay, which is the premise behind the Aztec clay mask, by the way. It's just bentonite clay. It can mop up a little bit of sebum and oil and transiently cut down on shine. Um, so the, a lot of these have that, like I think the original one that was really popular had that. This one also, this is a mask actually, but a lot of their products have green tea extract, which this one does, which can kind of be soothing. And also there is actually a small amount of evidence that green tea can um, be helpful for diminishing the appearance of pores. People ask me, should I put like plain green tea on my face then? I can't answer that. Study was done using green tea extract in a lotion. So using it in a leave-on product has, has the most data for helping 
helping reduce the size of pores. And um, we don't have any studies looking at it in wash forms, but I've used some green tea face washes, namely the Crave Beauty one. I really enjoy the matcha hemp hydrating cleanser. But blabbing aside, I will enjoy trying these out. What else do they have in them besides green tea? Oh, ceramide. So they'll have, you know, potentially be moisturizing. All right, all right. I'm sure this has the potential to be irritating, but fun as well. <laughs> all right. Oh, cool. Pharmacy Do It All Total Eye Cream. You guys know I don't use eye creams, but many of you love eye creams. <laughs> um, so this one, I actually, I have to say, I have really enjoyed the Pharmacy Green Screen Sunscreen. It's a little on the pricey side, but it, it doesn't leave, you know, a, a, a robust cast whatsoever. I mean, it's got one of those, those slightly, I call it like whitewash wall first coat casks on my skin so still still too striking for darker skin types but you know for for me I it's not I don't notice it or, or care about it but but you might um, depending on your skin tone or just aesthetics you know you may not want to look like the first coat uh, whitewash wall anyways theirs is really good it has a bunch of plant oils in it um, but it doesn't leave like a greasy shine to it I, I wish it were water resistant um, to kind of justify the price, but otherwise it, it's actually pretty good and I do recommend their sunscreen. I've got some other products by them. If you would, guys would like me to review them, they're not products that I would typically use, um, but you know, if it's a brand that you all are interested in, they're cruelty free and, and I think they're, are they vegan? I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that, but anyways, this is an eye cream, do it all total eye cream with Echinacea Green Envy. I look forward to, to trying that out, and let me know if you guys would like a review of this. And I have like a mask of theirs and some sort of a serum, so we could review those. Ew! Now I actually, even though I don't wear makeup, I've actually always wanted, been intrigued by this. This is an actual beauty blender. Aren't these expensive? I hear beauty gurus talk about how they're like twenty dollars and they burn through them. I was watching this one, um, I can't remember who it was, this one beauty guru's um, like makeup collection storage thing because I was looking into like storage options and I came across her content. Um, and she had like like a bazillion of these things ready ready and waiting, teed up to go. <laughs> um, so I know, I know they're really popular makeup sponges, but the reason I have been intrigued by using this is that many of my colleagues have, you know, I've asked them like, what do you tell people who are asking you about applying sunscreen over like a full face of makeup? Because that's something I really struggle with as a non-makeup wearer, like really knowing how to advise people or, you know, is that wiping stuff off? And some of them have told me, um, um, through personal experience and you know anecdotally that they tell people and find that it's effective to apply sunscreen on over makeup with a beauty blender um, so that is one option I don't I, you know I can't tell you about sterilizing this thing I know a lot of beauty youtubers do it, it's a sponge sponge is you know gonna be a reservoir for bacteria I I don't think you can put this in the microwave uh, to disinfect it I think it ruins it but I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's a YouTube video out there answering that. So <laughs> let me know. All right, what else do we have? Grown Alchemist. Oh, cool. Hydra Repair Day Cream with Camellia Geranium and Geranium Blossom. I'm guessing this is a scented. Is this a scented, a fragranced? Oh, this is vegan and and cruelty free. This. Um, yeah, it does have fragrance in it. Is this for your face or your body? Apply with smooth upward and outward motions working from the center of the face. Now, okay, th so they're saying this should go on the face. You know, I have a, a big problem with fragrance on the face. This has, uh, what does it have in it? Does this have uh, Camellia Seniensis is green tea? Okay, so this is a green tea, a green tea lotion cream for the face. Um, I'll be interested to give this a try, um, aside from the fragrance, because it, it um, you know, as I said, the green tea and leave-on lotions has been shown to be helpful for pores. Has anybody tried this? I'd be interested to actually give it a go. All right. Oh, okay, cool. Stuff that I, more lifestyle stuff. I always mention this in the videos, but I, I, there's never anything fit in here, like, 
like fitness oriented. It's always it's always fab, it's always fun, but the fitness is lacking. One time I got this like bizarre torture device looking thing. It was like a thing to to stretch to roll out your like tight muscles. I never ended up using that. I tried using it and it felt like some sort of torture device. Um, it's over at my mom's house, but I think she's just holding on to it because she's afraid to get rid of it. <laughs> but if you're watching this, mom, you can get rid of it. Maybe I'm sure if you donated it to to um, you know a secondhand store, it would find a good home. Okay, simply with whimsical towel, homemade and pretty. Oh, that is pretty. A nice towel. Is this for what is this for? Body, kitchen, home. Where's my where's my instructional guide? Simply with whimsical tea towels. Oh wonderful. This set features two playful gray patterns that are sure to perk up your mood every time you walk into the kitchen. Oh that's great. I actually was in the market for some new tea towels. So that's wonderful. Oh, by the way, this is what the other teapot looks like. The teapot you could choose, isn't it cute? I, I was seriously debating it because it's got, um, it's from Alfred, LA based tea spot, Alfred Tea Room. Those of you who live in Los Angeles, um, comment below on if you, um, on if you have been to this establishment. But it kind of, they, they're not cherry blossoms, are they cherry blossoms? They kind of look like cherry blossoms. So that would fit with my motif. I was kind of on the fence about that, but. I didn't end up going with that. And then instead of the earbuds, you could also get this like expensive Catherine Malandrino umbrella, but I have an umbrella, so I didn't, I didn't go for that. Um, but yeah, I look forward to trying out the tea towels. And then, last but not least, or not, not, what else do we have in here? Oh, okay, we've got a Luna Rica. Ooh, this looks good. I'll probably eat this now because I haven't consumed anything yet. And it is early morning, so maybe I'll eat this for breakfast. It's kind of high on the sugar content. Probably not. Is this vegan? Yes, it is. Although it has palm oil in it, which you know isn't isn't technically vegan at all. Um, actually, <laughs> I've learned uh, it's really hard to avoid palm oil. You know that it's in like everything. Um, but this has it in it. Um, it's date paste, cashew butter, peanut butter, peanuts, rice rice starch, cane sugar. It's got this is like a you you might as well eat a payday. Honestly, this has like. 16 grams of sugar in it. That's a lot of sugar. Luna Rica. This is a dessert food, not a not a nourishing food, but I'm sure it's I'm sure it's tasty. Alright, this I'm pretty excited about because I'm in the market for a new a new one of these and that's why I selected it. It is let's just take it out of the last deck out. A Vince Camuto tote. So let's have a look at that. Oh, it's kind of one of these, um, like, what do you call it? Like those kind of dump all bags. Um, but it's nice. It's got a, it's black with a gray stripe in the middle. That's really nice. It looks like it'll hold a lot. This reminds me of at least the, the layout, the way it's, it is a little bit that popular Louis, Louis Vuitton and never full. <laughs> I call it never full because you go broke after you buy it and your wallet's never full again. <laughs> Uh, but this looks handy for just like dumping dumping my laptop in and you know some other things and, and taking them on the go So I picked that I can't remember what the alternative thing was that you could get but Happy to have that. I'm not really into buying purses or bags. So that was the other nice thing You know, there are certain like lifestyle accessory things that I have to I struggle picking out and or, you know Like I get overwhelmed. There's so many choices and you know, I have buyer's remorse So I would rather just pay a fee and have like some of this stuff curated and sent to me <laughs> <laughs> and the Fat Fit Fun Box has really fulfilled that need. Not only does it give me like fun skincare stuff to try out and review and talk about with you guys, but you know, it also gives me some lifestyle things. You know, because I will sit on the internet and like search reviews for, for um, 
like little uh, French press things if I'm considering buying one and then I get overwhelmed and I bail on it and it, it, like it takes a lot of time sometimes just searching for these things so I'm glad to just have one here to use and, and decide if it's worth keeping in my life or not and the tea towels likewise these can be really hard to buy online as well um, you know, you like finding them. Are they good quality? You want touch a vision, but you can't feel the quality. And you might have to go into a store, and that can be that can be a real time suck. Like Home Goods, is it Home Goods in Marshalls? The lines in there are always so stinking long. I love Home Goods. I love Marshalls. I love love those stores and just like looking at the decor stuff. But I never end up buying anything in there because. I don't know. It's like I, I, I never find exactly what I want. I usually do well in those stores for like candles and athletic athletic wear. Like sports bras and running shorts, really good deal at Marshalls. But I never I never have good luck in there with just like if I go in there specifically looking for a kitchen item. I find that it's always, you know, like in some bizarre color that I don't want and the line just is it's long. And I'm thinking, do I really need this that badly? You know, yes, it's probably $10 cheaper than it originally was, but uh, I think my time is worth $10, so I cannot. But anyways, yeah, yet again, another, I think this is one of the best boxes thus far. I mean, I say that every time, but they really are getting better and better. I mean, and there, what, what is in here that I, I won't use? Oh, I probably won't eat Luna Rica. I probably won't eat this. But you know what? There are plenty of hungry people on the streets of Houston. I can easily hand this over to somebody who will be glad to have it, even though it's not something I choose to eat. But, but what is it with, with like skincare products and bubbling? My NMNL Japanese beauty box, I had that bubble nose thing. Um, someone commented in, in a video or on my Instagram that has papain in it, which is a, like a, you know, good for, you know, like that's what's in papaya and so it's helpful for digestion if you ever have an upset stomach or indigestion. Having a little papaya can be very, very soothing. Eating it, um, but of course, you know, putting it on your face, it has some natural alpha hydroxy acid component to it, but it can be very, very irritating. It's also like what's in meat tenderizer. <laughs> so, you know, be aware of that, you know, are you gonna tenderize your face? Um, but it's popular in a lot of things. So I think that's what's in that, that bubble thing. But this um, has some sort of bubble, bubble technology. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Um, comment below and if you guys have started getting this and if you like it and you know what kinds of things you got in your box that I didn't select. I'd love to know how you are using them. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.